Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at another RAM upgrade card for the Mega 1200. But before we do that, let me share a little story with you guys. Now, as a little kid, I only had the Commodore 64 with my cassette tape. That was it. Played Genesis, this Booble Bubble. Great computer. Visit my uncle. He showed me his brand new Amiga 500. We played Shadow of the Beast. We played Turkin 2. And when I saw Turkin 2 on his Amiga 500, I was just, it was a mind blowing experience. The gameplay was perfect, but the music, the music was even better. I came home next day, told all my friends about the Amiga. Turkin 2, but one of the guys had a disk drive and he had the Turkin 2. So we just, we all got together at his place. It was his uh, big brother's Commodore 64 with disk drive. Uh, and we got the permission to load Turkin 2 and all that. And he played, but I was just yapping about how awesome the game was. but. It was good on the Commodore 64, but not, not perfect like, like on the Amiga 500. And the music, the music was missing on the Commodore 64 version. It was just so disappointing. And from that day on, I, I was thought about, because I love the sit tunes, I love music on the Commodore 64. I was always thinking about how awesome would it be to have Turkey into music with the sit tunes, a Commodore 64 version. That it is maybe out there, I don't know, I haven't heard it. But I found out one of my favorite YouTubers, the modern vintage gamer NVG, has made his own version of Turkey 2, Turk 2 music with sit chip tunes, sit tunes. And um, I got his permission to use that song uh, on this video. Thank you, MVG. I love your YouTube channel. Um, so let's take a closer look at this card while we're listening to Turk and 2 with Chip Tunes. <laughs> So, what do you think about the MVG version of the Turkin 2 music in Chip Tunes? I love it. <laughs> now, let's take a closer look at this beautiful board here. I just got this one. Now, at the back side, it says Ramkarte Deutsch. <laughs> Ram card, Amiga 1200, 32 bit. One megabyte clock and some serial number or something like that. Now, this card came with one megabyte of RAM. As you can see, it has got these two RAM chips on board. So, when you bought this card from Alpha Data, you got it with one meg of RAM from Fabric. That's nice. So, if it has the clock, that means it has got the battery also. <laughs> That's the back sign. 
and at the front here as you can see the battery has been removed and it has got some repair job up here other than that if you turn around over here it's got the FPU 68882 33N so it's got a 33 megahertz FPU that's nice that was maybe also optional sometimes you could buy these cards without the chip here it was just it had a empty socket so maybe it's an upgrade I don't know also as you can see down here it has many jumper adjustments <laughs> and that is because as you can see you can use these uh, what are they called zip RAM expansion thingies <laughs> so you could upgrade this one with, with zip RAM now this one is uh, with 8 megabyte and I'm pretty sure that with the jumpers you could run it as 4 megabyte or 2 megabyte when this card came out in the early 90s RAM was still expensive guys these types of RAMs were pretty expensive so yeah but this one is fully upgraded now usually usually when I get my hands on one of these cards sometimes they have got the FPU sometimes they don't but the maximum amount of RAM is 8 megabyte well this is the first time we got 8 megabyte here and one megabyte here so this is a 9 megabyte RAM expansion card for the Mi 1200 first time for me so I just want to share it with you guys now let's just put it in my Mega 1200 in the expansion slot here because if you want to play WHD load games you can't play it on wait 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 <laughs> um, I have found out as a content creator you have to be really careful about what you say so let's go back <laughs> WHD load games is possible with an Amiga 1200 with two megabytes of chip RAM you can play that way but uh, uh, my personal opinion it's not fun and everything can't run proper the proper way I mean you can do some tricks but for me you need at least four megabyte of RAM expansion I, I usually play WHD HD load games with an 030 processor but this time let's just put this one in load, load a WHD load game with the stock 020 and see how it runs let's also make a fast sys info sys chest with this card and let's see what speed we gain when we upgrade with one of these cards all right the card is installed as you can see we got the Amiga 1200s built in 2 megabytes of chip RAM that I love and we have 9 megabytes of fast RAM so let's just take a test here with sysinfo and I must say it the old 20 it's really long time since I have tried the old 20 and it it is fine I mean it looks fine if you just take a speed comparison here nice let's start off here AGA chipset of course 2 megabyte and AGA Alice 68 EC 020 it runs 14 megahertz and it's got the FPU as you can see here no MMU and the comments are let's go <laughs> if we just expand here dry stones 2800 and we are five times faster than a stock omega 500 the speed is yeah a tad faster than an amiga 2500 that's because there it's got more ram and it's 32-bit system <clears throat> so if you look at the memory as you can see here 8 megabyte of fast RAM and it should have one yeah one megabyte slow RAM that was the built-in on the other side and two megs of chip RAM that's nice 
the drive speed will be about 1.5, I think. Yeah, 1.7, that's all right. I mean, it's, it's, it's fast enough. So let's jump over to some games and, um, and see how that goes. Now remember, it only runs with the O20. Games, yes please. And let's find Chaos Engine. Now I'm controlling with the joystick. Oh, why is the graphics so bad? Uh, it looks really bad. <laughs> What? Hmm, something's wrong. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, this compact flash card is from my Amiga 500. So everything on this compact flash card is a non AGA uh, games and demos and all that. So let's just uh, quit this one. I will put a another compact flash card in. There we go. Now it's my 16 gigabyte. And let's look at the... Yeah, look at this. Looks so much better. I mean, I love the Amiga 500. I love my Amiga 2000, but I'm all in for AGA. Uh, Amigas, I mean, look, look at the difference. Let's just find Cas Engine and see how it runs. And it, it, this 16 gigabyte, it 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 has to load. It, it feels like it's it needs a little more juice than the O20. But the O20 with RAM upgrade. There we go, AGA version, guys. Look at the picture. Looks. This is the normal version and this is the AGA version and this is CAS Engine 2 which wasn't as good as CAS Engine 1. CAS Engine 1 is, in my, as my opinion, CAS Engine 1 is just one of the best Amiga games ever. <laughs> Especially playing two-player. Mind-blowing. So let's go into the... Um, oh. It's a tad slower than the O30. I, I, I can't feel it because I'm used to use the O30, but still it's acceptable. I, I could I could be happy with an O20. So let's see here and No, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same. It's just the pictures on the menu, guys. Other than that, it, it feels the same way. Yeah, it's the same. All right. So this means that this card, this nine megabyte RAM upgrade for the Amiga 1200 is actually good enough to be able to play WSD load games because we still have AGA chipset. We have the mighty two megabytes of chip RAM and we have nine megs of fast RAM. So these cars are pretty cheap. I know that they're being, um, they're being remade and you can, you can get them pr pretty cheap today. I, 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 I don't remember the prices, but cheaper than a Blizzard O30 card. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, with this one, it is possible to play WST dot games. So I want to say thank you for watching guys, thank you for modern vintage gamer, I could use his chip tunes, and I really hope that I'll see you on the next video. Until next time, play some Chaos Engine, because it's one of the best two player games ever. Have a nice day guys, Retro Jingo out.